We're at Cranny Companies in Danvers, Massachusetts. We do plumbing, electrical, and HVAC for both the residential market as well as the commercial market. In the residential model, we grew 40% last year. So that type of growth, you're going to need people coming in to help you grow your company. Is it the outlet already there? Does he need someone for snaking? You know, a lot of times companies, including ours, don't plan for growth. You panic, you throw the ads out, and you, you know, hire pretty much anybody that can limp through the door, and then you pay the price down the road. So what we started to do was to go back into the schools. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name's Brian McHugh, and uh, I'm the general manager of the Cranny Companies. We had an eighth grade career day at the Peabody Vocational School, and I think it's a great way of showing where I started in the trades and, you know, what important subjects kids need to really pay attention to to be successful in the trades. A lot of parents want college, or they believe that that's the end route to success. And for a lot of students, that might not be the only answer. And I think that it's important to explore lots of different options for your child. As the Cranny presentation showed, so that there are when some situations where students can earn a good salary, program. they can earn a good living, and make a good future for themselves. We work with our local vocational high school groups that have trades. We work closely with their instructors. When they become juniors in high school, they have an opportunity to go to a program called co-op, which is they, they're allowed to leave school for one week to go out and work and then the next week they go back to school. So it's alternating week on, week off. The beauty of the co-op program is it almost eliminates having a bad hire because we develop the relationship with them early on so that when they graduate, they're just all, they're like instant employee. I was in the co-op program. It was a week on, week off program. And uh, now I'm full time as an apprentice. You can become a licensed plumber or a licensed electrician. There's several years of on the job training as well as educational hours in addition to what they earn during their high school years. So we work with them as apprentices involved in the training and their education component and the hours they need in the field. So you put those two together and then they reach a, a level where then they can go and, and, and go after their license. You get taught by the either journeyman or master plumber and you know, all, all the guys here are really good and they teach me a lot. In the future I hope to be a master electrician. Hopefully I'm going um, to night school right now uh, to get my journeyman's electrical license. I uh, wake up every morning and want to go to work. I did start basically knowing nothing and, and working my way up and now I'm almost a master electrician so I mean having, the, uh, having a lot of young guys come in it, it really helps the company. I'm on the foundation board at a couple of the schools so we get to know the teachers very well. We help with the curriculum. Thank you because of our efforts, we get the pick of the litter, and it's proven with the success we've had with that program. It's definitely a long-term approach. So we make an investment in sponsoring a career for young people that are willing to you know, work in the trades, and they have a passion for it. It's really refreshing to have a company really thinking futuristically that you know, we want to home grow our own, our own future employees. And we've found that to be the best pipeline to help us meet the future growth. And, and it makes our company young. The average age of an electrician in Massachusetts is 58 years old. Some of those kids that we brought on as co-ops are now leaders in the organization. I call it a farm team. You know, as we grow, we have this farm team of, of apprentices, co-op students, apprentices, then licensed technicians that will fill those voids to help us grow.